Hi, John here. In this video, I would like to show you how I test new dropshipping products in Facebook ads. I will take, take you through the whole process, basically from creating campaign, ad sets, you know, what kind of budget I use with different products, you know. So definitely watch that. And well, if you are watching my videos, you know, often and you would like to see more of them, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button. And also if you have some idea about future video, then definitely comment below. Okay, let's just go straight to my computer. I already created a campaign here. I will kind of explain you what's going on here. This is a real test, okay? It's not like uh, some virtual test. I'm actually on this new account testing new products. So I'm every day launching some products, okay? So this is like a real product that I'm going to test, basically. I will schedule it for morning. This product is basically something between like a home or like garden niche. So it's about like flowers and plants. So basically I will call that campaign flower, okay? And now I will basically set up everything with you. So I already actually created a flower campaign. I will just put here, you know, like a flower. So it's like a legit name. Basically, uh, always keep that campaign budget optimization off because well, it will not like help you much. Uh, you need to put here conversions, so it's like obvious that you are going for conversions, so Facebook knows what's going on. Then in ad set level, basically we have like uh, eight ad sets, okay? So for each of my tests of a new product, I usually use eight ad sets only. And uh, well, I don't want to spend too much money on it because I don't know if that product will work or not. Okay, and basically, if I need to test like 100 products, the uh, more assets I use, bigger investment is. So it's kind of like important to set like right amount of assets, otherwise you're just like burning money without like any reason. So I usually go with like seven or eight. This product is actually like a cheaper one. Basically, every time when I have a product that I'm selling for less than like 29 so basically this one is 29 dollars plus four dollars for shipping and handling and every time when i'm going basically till this level i usually set budget for each asset for 10 dollars for the day so i will just do it and uh, well for products that actually i'm selling for 39 dollars and more I'm usually going with $20, okay? So here I will do just 10. Start date, that's another like important thing for me. Always what I do is that I usually set, you know, like basically a day where I want to launch it, which is like in a couple hours. And uh, I do 3 a.m. I don't have like any reason for it. I'm just like used to do 3 a.m. I don't know why, I like tested it so many times that I'm just like used to it, okay? If you will sell for 2 a.m. or 1 a.m., I don't, I don't think there's like a difference, you know? It, it's not like a hack. I'm just like used to do 3 a.m. So I just do 3 a.m. And I already created those ads, okay? So basically I have eight ad sets and 16 ads. So in each ad set, I had two exactly same ads, okay? Basically when you see this, you know, this is like all same, okay? It's basically like all one post, you know? that I complete like share between each of them, okay? So basically every time when one of these ad sets will get like uh, some like comments, you know, shares, it's like all under that one post. So it doesn't matter if I have like 1000 active ad sets, all of that like social proof will, that will go to that one post that they share, okay? So always like uh, share that one ad, you know, between them. So all of them are like, collecting that social proof. Okay, so let's just go with those ad sets and set them up. Okay, so here is first thing that uh, H, I will just go directly to like uh, 65. Because first this is like a product for like 45 and more. So I will just do 65 because it's like, it's like the best to start with them. And uh, here I will definitely work on placements. So I will just pick here like placements that I want, okay? So first, I don't want all devices. I want to start with mobile, okay? I have like better experience that first I just focus on mobile, you know? And then I like add, you know, like desktop. And here basically I need to first like uh, switch off a couple of these things, okay? So we don't, we will not do this, we will not do that. Basically I will switch everything except like newsfeed. So I need to switch this off, you know? Well, and I will definitely switch this off, you know? and uh, well i will keep just this free and mobile so basically that's it okay here i have like that classic you know one day after click or view and well this is like a normal 
optimization for like uh, best conversions. I'm also targeting only United States because every time when I uh, basically get a product, I know that it's like easiest possible way is to get first to United States, you know, that stock. So when I found that product, I know that if it will work, I will be able to just like get it in like a couple days to United States, you know, and when it's like running in United States, I'm already making money from it. I can add some, you know, like other warehouses in like other countries like Australia, New Zealand, you know, like Canada. But uh, yeah, first I always start with United States. Basically everything what I need to set in like a bulk, I already did. And now I can start adding some like interest and look like audiences in these ad sets. And uh, one thing I will also like change this, you know, because I need to change the name. So basically I will go with $10 ad sets. And now I can play with those ad sets. Okay, so I will do this first ad set broad. Okay, so I will not use any look like audiences. And since this is basically about flyers, so I will just do some like, wait, like flower, you know, I will see what I will try to find like something uh, which is like more broad, but I mean like 1 million or 2 million people, you know, something like around that. And uh, flower garden, I will just try like normal flowers and it's like 6 million, that's like huge. So I will just try to find something else. Okay, I will go with flower plant. That's actually like very nice interest, you know, exactly like ideal interest for something like this. Okay, so that's first ad set and second ad set that's basically a similar thing. So let's just try gardening or something like that. Eight million, that's <laughs> too much. Uh, I will try, I will try rose. Oh, that's like still not enough. So what about just plant? Okay, it's like 6 million, but I will still do it because I, I just want to do plant. So, well, I'm gonna put here broad. I will try to do now a look like audience. So basically this will be look like audience ad set. So I will just use this. And I will try to do it together with that gardening interest, which is huge interest. I want to know how my main database, which is basically like compilation of like uh, multiple stores basically will work with this. And here I will just do 1% of the database without any interests. Here I will do one more database and uh, I'll try like higher one and I will go something around about like home decoration or something. Interior design is like nice, so okay. Here I can do one more broad. I will try to some interest where it's like obvious that for example, that person who lived there cares also about like, uh, like cooking, you know, and baking because it's like for people who are spending time in home, you know, and then they have like now flowers around, you know, for people who really like care about their house, you know, or like flat and try to like decorate it nice, make it look good. So let's just try that. And I will try to use, uh, I will just do kitchen. Mm, it's like too much. I'll try to like do it together with like home repair. So maybe one point. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so this one I will just do home repair. And here I will try to again use some look like audience, audience for views, which is like rough like my older products. So I will just do that. And I will do this. And here I can play maybe with one more broad ad set. So I will just try to do like something which is like a little bit like less people, you know, something about those plants. House plant maybe. 440,000 people. Yeah, so here I will actually do that, you know, it's not like, uh, it's not like too big, okay. But actually it's time to time I'm using also like that uh, targeting expansion. It will go after people who like house plants, but when they will find that it's working and there are like some people out of that interest, you know, Facebook will immediately like try to like increase, you know, the audience. So that's also like great. You can actually do exactly same thing, you know, when you are targeting 
for example those video views okay so you can also like look like do look like extension that's actually something like newer but i'm already like using it like and it's great so you can do that and uh, well basically this is like now my campaign right and all these ads so basically with this product i'm going to spend like 80 dollars you know and that's it okay so basically now like one last thing that i would do is that uh, well i usually don't use like rules that much you know for these kind of tests when i'm using like only those 10 dollar assets and just using like a couple of them you kind of know that uh, after like that one day if it's working or not and or if you want to give it like another day shot okay only like thing that i would do you know to protect me from burning too much money okay so instead of like burning like 80 you know i will just like burn like 60 is that i would create just a rule you know they will basically kill those assets if like uh, one asset will for example spend five dollars and have no clicks you know so you can actually like watch my one of those like first videos where i actually explained you know how i set those rules so you will find there like that one rule that i actually use for clicks you know for products that i'm selling for like 29 you know so definitely watch that video and well basically that's it you know so this way i basically test all assets so every time when create created ad i create campaign you know put there like eight eight assets you know couple of them will be like look like audience asset and some of them will be just broad asset okay it's also like depends on product you know because if it's like product that have like you know like wide range of like uh, broad interest you know then you can test a lot of like broad interest you know but if you have like good database already like that you built in like last years you know and you would like to use it then well, it's great to use the database and sometimes you will like make a lot more money when you have database than just like going with pro assets so thank you very much for watching and if you are still in affiliation my free facebook mastermind group then definitely join that group affiliation is great it's full of people who spend millions of dollars every month on facebook so if you will have like more advanced questions then definitely uh, join affiliation because you will be able to get answers there and if you recently got flagged you know and you need to restart a promotion then definitely download my free ebook you know i wrote a book to get you out of the facebook circle of hell you know so you can restart a promotion and keep running you know and basically like now since we are already like almost in like q4 you know you definitely want to like get back in the game you know and restart everything okay so you can make money and sell your stuff again okay so definitely download that and thank you very much for watching i will see you in next video bye